Hello all and welcome to today's video which will be uh, answering questions that um, people have put to me recently. Um, hopefully this can be a regular thing uh, when we can all just talk about uh, music we like, uh, techniques, things like that, just musical stuff. Um, so without further ado I'm going to jump into the questions. Um, the first one comes from a Darren Scriven Scriven? Scriven. I think it's Scriven, but let me know if I'm wrong. Um, and it says, can you explain your process on how you developed your ability to play vocal melodies with lead guitars? And was it mainly many years of learning to play by ear? Um, so, good question. Um, it's not like a conscious thing that I do, but I, I guess what I would put it down to... Um, is that, well, one, I don't really like singing. I, I'm not confident in that way. So I I guess I've always then played the stuff on the guitar or tried to mimic it at least. So that must have been, that must have aided sort of to a point to sort of that sort of side of learning. Um, I think though it's more about just really, really listening and trying to train your ear uh, to, to really listen in for, for detail. So not just hitting the notes, you know, or, you know, it's not like um, I get if I was a music reader, which I'm not really. Um, in fact, I'm almost you know I almost can't read music at all. Really, I could could probably figure stuff out if you gave me enough time, but it would you know take a long time. But if I was a music reader, you're not going to literally just replicate what's on the, on the sheet. You're going to add in some kind of human element to it. So I guess um, when I'm playing these songs, I'm trying to. Um, tap into what the vocalist did you know the the, the dynamics that, that are going on in there so i think it's listening to a song lots and lots and lots uh and what goes along with that is the fact that i'm almost always if not 100 percent of the time 99 percent of the time i'm playing the, the videos i'm making are songs i already like or love you know so i'm already familiar with them and I'm already had, you know, they've already had a good listen to anyway. Um, so I think if you like music or if you love the music you're playing, you, you tend to tap in more to the sort of emotions behind it, maybe the meaning behind it, um, or just whatever, in some way it's emotive to yourself. So you kind of transfer it hopefully through the music. And again, that's about <clears throat> just different techniques like, if I was, um, when I'm doing vocal melodies, there's a lot, I'd probably add in a lot more slides, you know, slurs as it were, you know, like a, vo a voice where sort of, you tend to not, I, I guess you wouldn't sing like, you might sort of do something like a, you know, so there's more sort of slurriness going on in there, it's not just, quite, it's not robotic. So I definitely do things like that. However, you know, other sort of details I add in where I'll be playing maybe something that's louder, I'll be playing with a pick, and yet there might be quite a bit where I then suddenly use my fingers more. So I'm sort of picking the notes out a little bit more, so like um, I could go like a, hear that little sort of rake into the, the notes. I'm just literally playing random stuff here. But. So I don't know, I did some little random sort of different touches there. So it's just trying to give sort of different dynamic ranges in what you're playing. Just so you know, nothing. It doesn't all go along at one level. There's kind of ups and downs. And um, I hope that kind of roughly answered. But anyway, let's move on to the next question. Okay, and, and another question from Darren. In fact, um, do you plan to make any tutorial videos? Um, yeah, absolutely, I do. Um, I've recently got. Guitar Pro, which I think I mentioned in another video, and um, it, it's it's slow work for me at the moment. It's slow work because I'm so used to playing by ear, so used to doing things the opposite way that when I have to kind of slow it down and try and figure out what I actually did and, and the sort of phrasing and all that stuff, it got it's it's slow work. I'll just say that. So yeah, I am definitely going to be doing it. I just need to get a bit better at using Guitar Pro so then I can sort of present with the lesson, I can present a, a tab as well, which obviously is a lot more useful because sort of sitting here and telling you, you know, sort of string names and numbers and things, I think that's pretty confusing. Um, 
Or I could do both. We'll see. But yeah, no, definitely will be on the cards. Okay, next question. This is from Ali. Uh, Ali Farsani. Ali Farsani. I'm not sure how you... Again, correct me. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to be wrong with one of these. So Alan Farsani, I'm going to say. Um, would you do guitar lessons? Um, yeah, absolutely. And actually... Um, I would definitely, I, I can definitely do guitar lessons. Uh, um, I'm presuming you're meaning online. So yeah, it's, it's definitely an option. So you can feel free to contact me uh, if, if you're interested and yeah, we can sort something out. Okay, so the next question is from Scott Henderson. When doing your videos, what's your favorite setting for amp and ex uh, effects? So, um, so when I'm doing videos, I'm almost certainly gonna be using my Kemper profiler. For the simple reason that it is it's set up it's ready to go all the time and if if you know about kemper profiles obviously you're using a profile and you can save your settings and then it just remains the same so there's no kind of needing to mic up and you know like one day for example you, you move the mic by accident you think oh no how am i going to get the exact position to get the exact tone all that kind of stuff i mean not not that i'm that picky but you know some people can be so the Kemper for me is, is the answer because it's just set up, it's just ready and you can save your sound when you're happy with it, just save it and it's there. Um, effects wise, I guess I would be using uh, just a little bit of delay and um, could be using a massive uh, amount of uh, even tied uh, black hole reverb. Some, uh, it depends on the music, okay, but I think uh, I definitely used it on, on the little intro piece. Um, just to give a quite, um, well, it's just a huge sound to it, a huge sort of space it gives you. Uh, it sort of fills out um, the, the, anything you're playing in, so it sounds cool to me. Um, apart from that, really, it, it's just using, it's simple as that, a bit of delay. The Kemper, um, I, I use an, a Laboga Alligator 50 um, profile, um, or I use different profiles sometimes, but for the main um, sound I use, it's, it's always the Laboga Alligator, and um, I, I've been using that for years, I guess, really. The, I've, I've been either using the real amp or the Kemper uh, version of it, um, alongside using a Victory uh, Countess sometimes as well. Um, although for recording, it's, it's always the Kemper because it's so easy, it's just set up. Um, uh, what else? So gain-wise, I try not to use too much gain. I'm probably using the gain at sort of a 12 o'clock setting, maybe a slightly more at the most though. Um, I find that because um, I, it's, this is all sort of subjective maybe, but I find that the more gain you add to your sound, the less you hear the sort of guitar and the pickups, if you see what I mean. So I feel like when you, once you start adding so much gain, probably most guitars will end up sounding almost the same anyway. So I like to kind of pull back on the gain a bit and let the, you can then actually hear the pickups you're, you're, you're personally using, I think, more. I don't know, you probably, that'll probably cause loads of kind of hate <laughs> from people, but this is all subjective. It's all just my sort of opinion. Um, or is that objective? No, anyway. Uh, so um, yeah, that, hopefully that answers that. Uh, think there's any more questions I think that was the last question I had for the moment um, please do feel free to sort of offer more questions or, or more discussion and we can chat about that next time um, I hope you're appreciating the new camera this um, this is a zoom what is it it's a zoom q8 it's a zoom q8 I got that literally today and um, I think it's better I'm using the microphones on the camera, so I might end up maybe using direct audio next time and just sort of having like a lapel mic or something, but, but we'll see how it goes. I, I think, I've, got, I've got, just got a sneaky suspicion that this, the sound might not be up to that much. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, for the moment, thank you for watching. If you like it, please uh, do the thumbs up and please subscribe if you're not already. Uh, and if you're even more keen, then please click on the sort of bell thing that, that, that announces every time I upload something new. Uh, and I will speak to you all soon. Cheers.